Why? Uh, Hello. Okay. Uh, river. River. Yes. River. Yes. This coffee here. So for the migration of the on-prem servers or uh, virtual vCenter from on-prem, right? So how do we do this? Yeah. Uh, do we need to define any uh, like location of the data path? And automatically, the data can be migrated using the Terraform, or uh, how do we do this? Okay. Um. So we need to first. You need to check if if your uh uh your on-prem solution has the Terraform providers, right? If you have that Terraform provider, first you can take quickly the state of your on-prem setting and then use the same thing there and then convert it to the uh, to the cloud. But uh, or else, uh, when you have already a defined, you know, uh, for example, your infrastructure on on-prem, you you uh, you know what is your network topology, what is uh, what is your target environment on the on the cloud. Then you start to write your, you know, your uh, infrastructure definition inside the TF. Then apply to the uh, to the cloud. Right? But now, if you you want to move with all the data, then it's a different story because this uh, Terraform will not allow you to move the data. So save a uh, save and leave is a different story, right? But if you want to uh, minus, yeah, yes. That's for Azure migration can help for the data movement, right? Yes, yeah. All so right. this is basically this uh, Terraform is uh, uh, like just uh, using the code, you just move the new VMs. I mean, like uh, what kind of, uh, I mean, like my converting as a services or something or uh, how? Oh, uh, okay. So normally, right? If you want to create a VM, you go to uh, you say you are, you go to, for example, you go to uh, Azure portal, you create a VM, or you use the Azure CLI create a VM using command lines, right? But the the problem with that, you rely on the manual things. You rely on your uh, script, uh, you know, uh, manual operations. Now. With that, you always need to go, admin needs to go, and then, uh, you know, do that. So with this one, you will be able to define it, and then it will be, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, now the instance uh, will start for this session. Sorry, I, I, I can uh, talk to you. Yes, this okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, yeah. instance, please, yeah. Okay, welcome back. Thank you, Reut. Reut. Okay, let's start something. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. uh, hi everyone. Hi everyone. Wait. Ah. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, know about the how the about the Azure Security Center. Now I will share about how to onboard on Azure Sentinel. Today, organization are faced with incredibility with difficult task. Why not? And soon, your voice is not audible. Oh, 
Wow, can you? Uh, Mo, can you? Yeah. Must. Need, need louder? No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, this is better. Yeah, this is better. Okay. okay. Let's get start. Let's start. Today, organizations are faced with the incredibly difficult task of trying to protect their expanded digital asset from increasing cyber threat. The move to the cloud and the mobile workforce have pushed the border of your estate beyond the boundary of your physical network. Your, your data and user and system are everywhere. Meanwhile, the frequency of sophistication of attack are ever growing, regardless of the size of your organization of or the industry. You are a target. You are a target. This is the challenge that we struggle with in IT industry, and it's a challenge we at Microsoft think that we can uniquely help with. Your voice gone again. Wait, wait, wait. I slowed out a bit, okay? okay. This creates significant challenge of, for your security operation team who are tasked with defending your uh, extended estate. Security, you will cause the security data explosion. As your digital estate grow, so does the volume of security data security data in fact of 76 percent in your organization uh, report uh, of report at increase and much of it is come from in the cloud so pumping into the legacy on premium system with the deployment and maintenance overhead that come with that just does not make a ton of sense and that volume is just going to keep growing. Data is the fuel of machine learning models that have become so critical to track detection. The model need to both more signal and more diverse signal to show out their defense. Enterprise have to deploy dozens of security products, each producing a large volume of alert. In isolation, this product may have high fall positive rate and poor response prioritization, resulting in defects, uh, defecting alert noise. As a result, the organization report that nearly half of alert 44% are never investigated. Part of the reason of this alert to fall through the crack is a messy shortage in security professional. A recent report by the CSO magazine showed that these global talent shortages were increased to 3.5 million unfilled security jobs by 2021. The cloud can help to manage that complexity of the expanding digital estate. It simplifies and makes security easy to make. Hardening the power of ground will set your security operation team free of IT work and help them focus on the with no limits. The next generation of AI and automation in the cloud help to supercharge your work. It will leverage. leverage it will leverage the large scale intelligence available in the cloud and make it work for you. Let us introduce you Azure Sentinel. Microsoft new intelligent cloud native security information event management, SIEM. If you in a cybersecurity field, you will understand what is SIEM. The first one, meet your defender where they are 
and deliver instant value. Choose from hundreds of you in dashboard, hunting query, analytic, playbook, and more. Guided hunting and investigation experience helps security analysts of all scale level get their work done. Of course, Azure Sentinel offer all the extensibility you need to customize and create your own dashboard, analytics, and also workbook. And even offer integration with professional great tools like Jupyter Notebook. The second, enable you to collect, store, and analyze all your security data with cloud scale and economy. Scale economy, scale automatically as data volume and compute need grow incremental growth or burst during an incident. No infrastructure, infrastructure costs and upfront commitment. Only pay for what you use. And also no infrastructure setup or maintenance. Agility to add data as you need it. The last one, leverage AI and automation as first multiplier for your SOC. Detect threat you may have otherwise missed. Feel alert into actionable prioritized incident to reduce alert fatigue. Apply automation to reduce manual process and speed response. Azure Sentinel deliver an end-to-end -end solution for security operation. Start with collecting all of your data and getting instant insight into that data via workbook and query. Begin applying analytics to that data to find real track from that sea of data. Hunt through all your data using built-in exploratory query. Use Bookmark and Livestream tools to track notable events and monitor new activity. Manage and investigate incident using graph and timeline view. Automate investigation and limitation playbook. All of this is powered by community of security analysts and backed by Microsoft security experts who leverage their worst experience defending Microsoft service to contribute analytic, query, playbook, and more. more. Now we go for visibility. How Microsoft, uh, how the Azure Sentinel collects security data at cloud scale from any source? One click integration Microsoft solution. Data collector for growing list of other technologies on premise and cross cloud. Support for standard log format. Specialized C and graph connector for track intelligent data. REST API for connecting to cloud solution. Proven log analytics platform with more than 10 TB of daily data ingestion. Other than that, you can get interactive dashboard of for powerful insight. Combine multiple kinds of visualization, including graph and map, and map. Provide deep insight into a single data source or combining multiple sources. Powered by KQL query, making workbook easy to Easy to build. Easy to build. Okay, let's go to analytics. analytics. How? How? I just sent in the leverage analytics to detect the track. More than 100 built-in alert rules were developed by Microsoft and community security experts. A wizard enables you to create your own, own analytic rules by using KQL query. 
your primary session can be set to alert when activity level exit normal pattern. Correlation event with your track intelligence and now with Microsoft Intel about Malaysia. Microsoft has a parallel view of evolving track landscape. And customer can now match Microsoft URL with network log. So match uh, Microsoft indicator uh, added to the to the table for use likely any other indicator. Responsive look back uh, that match against historical event data and more type uh, of they, yeah, more type of connector will be coming soon. Alerts can be used to trigger automate uh, the playbook. How Azure Sentinel tap into the power of machine learning? Uh, machine learning increase your cache rate without increasing of noise. UE model offer the benefit of machine learning without the complexity. Microsoft has applied the proven off the shelf machine learning model for identifying sufficient login across Microsoft identity services to discover malicious SSH accesses. By using transfer learning from existing machine learning model, Azure Sentinel can detect normally from a single data set with accuracy. In addition, we use Microsoft use machine learning technique called Fusion to connect data from multiple sources like Azure AD, anomalous login, and sufficient Office 365 activity to detect 35 different threads that span different points on the key chain. The chart on the right hand side is based on real life example that show how Azure Sentinel machine learning model are able to analyze millions of signal to highlight small number of high severity track. Simply connect your data and learning from the start. Now we go for hunting. Start hunting over security data with fast and flexible query. Built in threat hunting query developed by Microsoft and community expert. Run the threat hunting query and see the result without prior queue experience. Create your own threat hunting query unit to your environment by using a KQL. KQL means key query. Key Query language. Start investigation directly from the hunting query. Other than that, you can use the bookmark and live stream to manage your hunt. Bookmark enable you to flag notable data for further investigation. Annotate and visualize the bookmark data and in an investigation graph. Add bookmark to enrich existing incident or create new one. Receive notification of new track related activity using live stream. You can now launch the Azure notebook directly from the Azure Sentinel, making it easy to create and execute. Jupyter Notebook to analyze your data. Notebook combined with a live code, graphic, visualization, and text, making them a valuable tools for track hunter. Choose from the choose from a built-in gallery of notebook, doable by Microsoft Security Analyst, or import other from GitHub to get started. These notebooks are the same professional strength, professional strength, hunting solution Microsoft own threat hunter use every day. 
It is hosted in the EduCard, so accessible anytime from anywhere. Investigation workflow and data can be saved as shareable HTML or JSON format. JSON document. Query address sentiment data directly in the notebook. Bring external data source, such as check intelligence, into your investigation. Support Python, SQL, KQL, R, or other language. Let's go for incident. You can start and check investigation from prioritize, actionable, and uh, based on security incident. Container for alert event and bookmark related to a particular security check. Automat automatically create from alert or initiate by a security analyst when check hunting can be assigned to analyst for further investigation and status, status can be checked. Analyst can be easily tag incident and add comment. Trigger automated playbook from incident also. How Azure Sentinel visualize the entire attack determine determine scope and impact. Azure Sentinel automatically correlate the entity across different data source and alert. Expand the scope of your investigation using built-in exploration query. View a timeline of related alerts, events, and bookmark. Click on any node to see detailed information. Gain deep insight into related entity, user, domain, and and so on. After you click in with a node, you will see more details. Automatically detonate the URL to speed investigation. Azure Sentinel customer can now use the power of URL detonation to enrich the alert and quickly discover track related to measure URL. When creating a schedule alert, any URL data in the query result can be mapped to a new URL entity type. Whenever an alert containing a URL entity is generated, the map URL will be automatically detonated, and the investigation graph will be immediately enriched with the detonation result. Uh, with the final URL and screenshot especially useful for identifying the phishing can be used to quickly assess a potential threat. To use these features, make sure you have enabled URL login for your security web gateway, web proceed, firewall, or legacy IDS or IPS. You can try these features during uh, the preview at no cost. Azure Sentinel is introducing a URL entity use alert rules to automatically trigger URL detonation. And last, enrich alert with worthy final URL and screenshot for the phishing sites. Okay, let's go to the automation. Azure Sentinel power uh, powered by Azure Logic App and fully in and fully integrate the yeah. Then after and also build automate automated and scalable playbook that integrate across the tools. Choose from a library of sample or create your own using 
more than 200 plus built-in connector plus generic connector like HTTPS. Trigger a playbook from an alert or incident investigation. Take, please take action today if your uh, to start with the Azure Sentinel. If your company have a cybersecurity expert, then and also had the Azure uh, Azure subscription. And your company had a uh, uh, MNC or SME across the country. Please use Azure Sentinel. Please get started with the Azure Sentinel. Okay, let's go for demo. Okay, at first we need to set up the Azure Sentinel. Okay, at first we need to create. Log in with the Azure portal and search for Azure, uh, Azure Sentinel. And click Add to set up Azure Sentinel workspace. Then click, uh, create a new workspace. If you already have uh, the Azure Sentinel workspace, you, you just select. But today demo, I will show you with the uh, with the create a new workspace. Okay, now name your new workspace and place in the proper resource group. The Azure Sentinel uh currently not in preview. Microsoft that already Microsoft already released the uh, GA Gen, 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 general available. Now on the next place, click. Uh, okay. Click on the new workspace. Click the getting started tab, and you will see the overview of the setup. And now we need to click on uh, the collect data. need to set up the Azure Sentinel data collection. Okay, and here you can see that a lot of connector. Click of the one of the connector, you are uh, to set up Azure Sentinel to collect the data from the on-premise and cloud location. Out of the box, it looks like Sentinel can integrate with many data collector, including, for example, uh, Azure Active Directory, then Identity Protection, all choose fine, and AWS, and, and also the other provider like Cisco, Palo Alto Network, and also the Checkpoint or Fortinet. I am selecting the Azure Active Directory. Each data collection plugin has step-by-step -step instruction. For example, like Azure Active Directory was just too easy click to connect to to the uh, connect the log. Some will be more involved and needed you to point your current system log file, syslog file, or client to install. Now we need to set up the Azure Sentinel dashboard. We need to collect the activity. Once you have data collection set up, go to the dashboard, select the pre-made dashboard for your collector and click install on the bottom, bottom right. Then we need to set up the Azure Sentinel Analytics Alert Rules. You just uh, go, to the, go back to the workspace and select the analytics and click add. Now, we still need to uh, use some query. This is where I think got the tricky. Microsoft does not appear to have nice selection of pre-made rules. 
admin will have to create their own uh, rules to the query system. The example from Microsoft is shown here. I, I also really hope that create some built-in best practice rules that can easily enable but it appear the plan to rely on the community. In the GitHub, uh, I just sent in a report. Got a lot of different of query you can use for that. You can paste at the at the bottom. I think after the logic, you can see the set as other query. You can use that one. You also can copy from copy and paste from the GitHub and some modify. Then after that, just click create. Okay, we need to go for how can we get the community? We select the community at the dashboard, then go to Azure Sentinel Community, then you will see the GitHub uh, report from Microsoft under the Azure Sentinel repository. You can see a lot of useful alerts to set up in your Azure Sentinel. From here, we have Sentinel set up to collect the data view to the dashboard and also trigger alerts. Other than that, the most important is Enable Fusion. Enable Fusion is the AI machine learning portion of Sentinel designed to help analysts with alert fatigue, open the cloud shell select PowerShell, create a storage and authenticate. And here you can see the cloud shell. You can enter with your uh, subscription and resources group so that it will automatically generate for you uh, when anything happens for analyze the uh, data and also to trigger the alert. Okay, that's all for my demo. Now come for go to if you want to learn more about the Azure Sentinel, you can go to at, go to the rest of the uh, uh, Azure Sentinel resources because I think in Azure Sentinel they start already start with the uh, level four hundred before before the level four hundred. Uh, 100 until 300 video already in the Azure Sentinel community, Azure uh, Sentinel community blog, and also Microsoft all uh, like weekly have the uh, recording of the Azure Sentinel or about Azure security. That's all for my today presentation. If you you can follow my blog and also my YouTube channel. Every month I will release some video about Azure Sentinel, Azure Governance, or Azure Security. Maybe some include the AI or data science. Any question for me? I see, got any question? Got a question or not? Hello. No question. Okay. Before I end my session, I am passed to the next speaker. Please. Uh, Give us the uh, feedback. Okay, here stay for three minutes. You can fill in the feedback. In the feedback. Thank you, Ensoon. Um, guys, wow. any questions? Okay, the uh, next yeah, speaker is soon. Speaker is who? Yeah. Uh, who uh?
Yes. Next. Oh. The next speaker is uh, Nilesh. Nilesh. 